Hello, Guardians and Privileged Ones. Lich back with another Zer review. This week, Destiny 2 Zer will be in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He has a pretty interesting inventory this week going. And nearing into Shadow Keep, we're going to be getting some pretty good exotics here. For some, and for others, mediocre. We have the normal Faded Engram, along with the Five of Swords Challenge card and Invitation of the Nine. Along with the Colony Grenade Launcher, Insectoid Robot Grenades. This weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Very good exotic for PvP. I remember getting this, I believe, day one or two when it first released. It was a pretty fun exotic to use, and I had fun with it, so I would recommend it if you have yet to get it. You will definitely enjoy it. Then we have the Orpheus Rig. Leg Armor for Hunters, definitely the winner this week. Provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver has more shots. With Mobility, Resilience, Pulse Rifle Dexterity, Traction, Kinetic Dexterity, some Machine Gun Scavenger, and Special Ammo Finder. Very good roll. Has Traction, has Special Ammo Finder. Good for Hunters. Then we have the Karnstein Armlets with Vampire's Crest. Melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. Pretty good exotic for Warlocks with Mobility, Resilience, Auto Rifle Loader, Light Arms Loader, Enhanced Grenade Launcher Loader, very good, uh, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, and Special Ammo Finder. Good exotic for Warlocks for sure. Along with the Ashen Wake, which is a pretty mediocre exotic, fusion grenades now explode on impact and increase throw speed with resilience, recovery, auto rifle loader, pulse rifle loader, impact induction, rocket launcher scavenger, and special ammo finder. An okay exotic for titans, but definitely not the winner. The winner, of course, is the Orpheus Rigs this week. Then the Karnstein armlets in second place, in my humble opinion. Now moving on to Destiny Wonzer. Destiny Wonzer will be selling for his armor the Helm of Saint-14, along with the Kepri Sting Gauntlets for Hunter, and the Void Fang Vestment Chest Armor for Warlock, and the Legacy Engram for Chest Piece, and his exotic gear, VPG's one of VPG's favorite exotics, the Hawkmoon Hand Cannon. Very, very fun exotic to use. Love that hand cannon. And I recommend it if you have yet to try it back in D1. It's being sold this week. Very good. And he is selling the Monte Carlo and Royal Flush. Along with the Trespasser and Fallen Assassin bundles. His vehicle upgrades this week are the Emerald Coil. And the Void Drive, and that's going to do it for Destiny Onezer. Tell me what you thought of this week, sirs, down in the comment sections below, along with how you're preparing for Shadowkeep. There are some pretty interesting guides out there. Uh, I highly recommend not doing all your powerful rewards for the reason that they may be locked to this season's powerful rewards and not going on forwards with the powerful gear, so you may sacrifice that. So if you're grinding for prep, be aware that it may not be as functional as it was previously, along with the Iron Banner bounties. If you are grinding Iron Banner bounties, they will be forcibly removed from your inventory. So if you have the Iron Banner bounties, Turn them in before Shadowkeep, get the tokens, but if not, they will be removed from your inventory. I hope all your Shadowkeep prep goes good, and until next time, I have the honor of saying, stay violent and be privileged.